Welcome to my first chess openings video. If you play the Sicilian and you hate playing against the Alapin defense, then this video is for you. Sicilian starts off with e4, c5, then the Alapin, c3. Now this is a sideline, but it is completely sound. You play e5. If they, if they play d4, you just simply take, take, take. Queen takes and just play knight c6 and it's kind of similar to a Scandinavian but a more open center, less cramped and it's fairly equal. But most people will play knight f3 because they, they really just want a pawn in the center. They're greedy but we won't allow it. We play knight c6, e4, c takes, c takes, e takes, knight takes. Now, don't get tempted, because if the queen retakes, you don't have a knight to put out, so it's kind of pointless, right? So you're going to give this check. The best move here is knight out, but we're going to cover the sidelines first, just so you know how to deal with the bad moves. Now, if bishop here, queen e7. This looks like a free knight, but after bishop takes, it, it's just a hanging bishop, and then your knight hangs as well. Anyways, the move here is queen e7. You're threatening d5 with pressure on the e-pawn. You're supporting your bishop, and you're still threatening to take this knight. And you already have the advantage. After knight here, now he doesn't even have the threat of taking your bishop, so just a free knight. And there's no other moves besides, like, Playing the bong cloud, which is just, I mean, just take, I assume, right? Gonna cover it. Knight f6. Okay, you just develop and castle and put pressure on the e-pawn. Anyways, to the main move, which you're going to face most of the time, is knight c3. And here, you just commonly develop knight f6. And it's already equal. If knight, if if the knight ever takes. Take back with the b-pawn, and you want to play for d5. If the knight just stays in the center, like bishop c4 for example, just castle. After castles, bishop takes c3, takes, and it's just isolated c-pawn. You're going to put pressure on the e-pawn. This knight may seem strong, but after you put pressure on the e-pawn, maybe get in d5, you can play for a6, b5, and put your bishop on b7. Very interesting position. And before that, hold on. If knight takes, which is also the main line of this variation, um, bishop here, you want to play d5. This is very principled. King is not castled yet. Of course, you want castled as well, so it's risky, but it's sound. It's completely sound. After pawn takes d5, you want to throw in this queen check. Queen's going to block most of the time. Some people will be passive and block. But then you just take the pawn and put pressure on the knight and abuse the pin. After he blocks with the queen, just simply take it. The bishop has to take unless he wants to bong cloud. Then you just castle. Castles. Put your rook on the open file. You can take this pawn. You can take the knight and then take the pawn. You can take the pawn with your uh, own pawn. You're going to have an isolated pawn, but your bishop's going to be able to support it. Position is very open, is very equal. Uh, so if you like open positions, but you hate the alipin, this is the opening for you.